Hello, Cancerian, Moonchild people, and thanks for, I hope everybody's doing okay. Thanks for tuning in for the May of 2020 Psychic Tarot Readings. I am Vicki Verley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess. I do Psychic Tarot, Psychic Astrology, and um, channeling and other things, and I've been doing so professionally for over 30 years. Um, today we're going to be doing the reading with uh, the main portion, with the Rock and Roll Tarot deck. This is my own creation. Then we're going to follow it up with a card from the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle Cards, also my own creation. If you're a Patreon Level 2 supporter, there's going to be additional three cards pulled from the Tea Leaf cards, which I'm really liking working with this deck. All right, now, uh, this deck has been thoroughly shuffled in between the readings off camera, and now we're just going to do a very loose shuffle to kind of pull out let higher guidance pull out the cards that are going to be the best cards for our Cancerian reading for the month of May of 2020. This is Cancer Sun, Cancer Rising, and Cancer Moon. Let's line these cards up. I want to mention there's kind of a big astrology thing happening that does affect you kind of directly here. Uh, the nodes, which change, stay in the sign for about, you know, a couple years, and they change sign, um, you know, there's, it takes 18 years for it to come around. So an energy that's been about 18 years, on May 5th, the node has been in Cancer for the last couple years, since 2018. It's going to move out of your sign and onto the next sign of Gemini. So this is kind of a, when the node leaves your sign, it's kind of like it's a time to reflect. It's a kind of it's a time to look back on the last couple of years, and what have you learned? What kind of there should have been some pretty major things going on in the last couple of years. Some major twists and turns. Some major karmic realignments. Some major soul path realignments. What have you learned from all that? Um, if it doesn't seem like it, well, it's just like any other day. Look a little deeper because there was definitely should have been some messages that have come through over these past couple of years that could affect you profoundly now, and it could have it could have realigned your life, and you may have made a major turn. Every turn, you know. Let's just look at it this way. Let's just take this, you know. So we're going along on a straight path, and we make a little turn down here, here, but you know, years down the line, 18 years down the line. It's this, it's, if you stayed on the same path, it's, it's a big leap from where you would have ended up. So these little twists and turns that you've made over the last couple of years could realign your life in the long run over the next 18 years in a pretty major way. So it's worth thinking about. And if it's like, ooh, I don't want to be on this path for the next 18 years, then you better get your ass in gear. <laughs> you better get your ass in gear and make that change now. You know, right in the center of everything we, on this spread here, we've got this Four of Swords. This card's been out a lot because we've all been kind of, you know, dormant. You know, this is a card of pausing, reflecting. So what a, what, you know, a better time than to really look at your life in this big picture thing. Um, yeah, there's been some crisis. There's been some stress that you've been through. There's been some worries and stress. And a lot of it's, you know, over money and stuff. Um, there's a new... You've got this, I'm hearing you've got this gift. You've got a gift that you're meant to share with the world. And now is the time to be getting it together. Now is the time to be gathering it up, getting it together, like getting your portfolio together, getting your resume together, getting your game plan together for the next phase of your life. And it's pretty important. And again, it, it's like small moves now, but out in the distance. What's that? Oh, out in the distance. Oh, a song's trying to come through. I'm not quite grabbing it. Oh, come back. There was a song about something about out in the distance. It, it doesn't seem like a small move now, but it will be. It can be. It can make this big gaping change in your life. Um, and looking back on things, and you're, you know, look, in the, look at your past. I mean, things that, you know, were, were in hindsight is 2020 when, you know, um, it was just a small move. It was just a small move that, that you made in the past and how much it changed your life. Just this one little thing. And that's what, you know, that's what uh, coming through very, very strong. There's definitely some major love vibes for you guys hanging down here. Now, this would be you. 
male or female, this is the water sign person, this is the Cancerian, and you're looking right, look at who's in love. Chucky's in love. I'm hearing Chucky's in love, so that may pertain to somebody out there. There may be a Chucky. Hopefully it's not that other Chucky. <laughs> the crazy demon movie Chucky, horror movie Chucky. Um, these people are in love, no doubt about it. Look at this whole role, this whole lineup here. Look at the way they're looking at each other. Look at the way they're drawn to each other. They're, mm, mm, I love you so much. Mm, I love you so much. <laughs> so they're definitely in love. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at the word reliable and I saw Bible of all things. Hmm. Now let that happen too when you look at these cards, and that's why when I even when I do the personal readings, I recommend watching them more than once, and it wouldn't be a bad idea on these either because every time you watch the reading, a different word will it'll pop out at you. I saw the word reliable here, and it looked like Bible. So I don't know if Bible that's what kind of message that would have for somebody out there, but this whole row, I mean, we're in love, we're in love, and it's backed up here. You got the Ten of Pentacles. This is the love and marriage card. This is obtaining that happiness, that 10, the ultimate, where well, you're just, you know, head over heels. I'm going to put, that's going to be your thing, head over heels, because that's what you are. Um, and head over heels, head over heels. And it's a good chance, as part of this nodal energy, that anything that your relationship that you're in now or starting now, could, you know, last at least 18 years. Now I'm hearing G and G. Loves to be loved. Loves to be loved. I think I'm out of the key. The G and G. It's outrageous the things that she does. The G and G. Let yourself go. Loves to be loved. That's probably closer. Whatever. Loves to be loved. But the part when I just sang that little verse there, uh, let yourself go. That can't, that resonated really, really strong with the vibes of this reading. Let yourself go. Let yourself fall in love. Put yourself out there. You can, you know, put your heart out. This is, guy wears his heart on his sleeve. This whole thing is love. And for some of you, maybe it's been a little while. It might have been four weeks, four months, four years since you've had a relationship. But this is coming on really, really strong here. This is major, major love stuff. So for many of you, that is going to be part of this nodal gift. You know, the, the, the gift it gives you before it heads off out of your sign for another 18 years. Okay, let's go ahead and start shuffling up for animal totem cards. I want to make a quick announcement and let everybody know every year, and, and this is your your reading, dudes, Cancer, because I do the solstice reading every year, and that's when the sun goes to zero Cancer. It's a shift in energy. It's a sh change of seasons. For most of us, it's the summer solstice. For many, it's the uh, winter solstice, but it's always a shift in energy. That's why I always offer these special readings uh, at this time of year, and they're always very popular. Uh, this year, it's going to be uber powerful because we're not only we're having the solstice energy, we're going to have an eclipse within 24 hours of the solstice, so basically the same day. It's not exactly at the same time. It's off by a few hours, but I mean, powerful, powerful uh, influx of energy. And you Cancerians, I mean, you're, that's your sign. I mean, it's right on you guys. So if you want to order that reading, it's available for a limited time. You can check my website or below and find out about it. But let's get our animal totem uh, card for me for Cancerians. The snail. Well, of course, you always think that snails, um, it's the slow pace, taking things slow. Taking, I'm hearing that. Take me down slow and easy. Do, 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 do. I'm hearing, you get a lot of music. Um, I mean, it's not unusual. That's why I'm the uh, rock and roll prophetess. I do get music quite a bit, and I'm a musician. But you guys got about five different, four or five different songs, I think, already. Um, but I'm feeling like that's this relationship. It's slow and easy. I feel like it's very comfortable. It's not, there's no, um, there's no uh, trying to put on, you know, anything weird or fake or phony. It's very real. You know, the other thing that I got about it was the snail, like the turtle, carries their home on their back, right? 
So I feel like some of you might be taking a camping trip or getting in, getting in an RV or one of those tiny houses. Or maybe you're packing up your belongings and you're going to move in together or they are. Or maybe you have a bag, you know, if you're spending a lot of time, you just have your bag with your essentials in it, you know, in your car, change of underwear, <laughs> and toothbrush or whatever, you know. <laughs> All right. Beneath the stony hole lies a soft and dewy side. Healing of deep wounds, rejuvenation, re-emerging after a period of rain. Slow down and appreciate the little things. Yeah, you know, I feel like... That's this kind of vibe this relationship has. Well, first of all, the heal healing of deep wounds and rejuvenation. That's what wounds, rejuvenation, back in the game. There's that. Then there's always, uh, then there's also this, you know, re-emerging after this period of rain. And then the slow down and appreciate little things. I feel like many of you, this is just going to be really mellow, really comfortable. And that suits you guys just fine. You know, you're not, uh, let's go crazy, unless you have a bunch of Leo or something in your chart, you know. Both Cancerians, let's stay home, you know, Netflix, Netflix and chill. Let's make some food and hang out, you know. And staying home is just fine and dandy with you guys. Okay. Well, hey, everybody, don't forget about that special reading and all the other readings that I do offer. And I have all sorts of stuff on my website by you, you know, checking out my merch and my stuff. That's what keeps this website, I mean, these readings going. Uh, by your contributions and everything that you do. Uh, uh, right now I'm just going to cut these cards up because we're going to do some uh, uh, additional three additional cards for our Patreon peeps and you can find out about that if you're interested. But if you're not, thank you for tuning in anyway. If you like this content, then please do hit the subscribe button and then you'll be up to date on everything. Remember that you are Love and Beauty Incarnate. Have a great month of May and I'll speak to you soon.